Stanford University. Yeah. This is also Yin-Yin. This is Yin-Yin's? Yeah. Okay. But the idea is we want to teach a different type of class. Instead of saying, hey, let's do novel writing by reading novels, we wanted to teach graphic novel the inside out. We want to actually make one. The story of Sutomi, Sutomi Yamaguchi is uh, a rare story of a man who survived two nuclear explosions at Ground Zero in Japan and afterwards became a lifelong advocate for peace and nuclear disarmament. In the, in the sense of a collaborative university level syllabus where students have the ability to come in without that much prior experience and go away with, a, with their hands all over a graphic novel, it's really not being, able, it's not being done anywhere else in the world. There, there's something in visual communication that is universally accessible to everyone. Words, you have to know the language to understand, but if you look at someone's face, a picture of someone's face, then you can get the emotion. Graphic novels are very stylized, and I feel like there was this huge hurdle that I had to leap over in order to draw what I know versus what I actually see in real life, because a lot of what's in the graphic novel, is you have to kind of approximate certain places that you're drawing. Graphic novel, you don't have a page that's entirely text, so there was just a lot of well, how can we reword this so we get across the same message in a sentence rather than, you know, the whole paragraph? It brings together a lot of different disciplines, right? So there's creative writing, there's art. There's kind of this interaction. It creates a synergy between uh, art and writing when you have to do storytelling through a visual form. It was the, the most intense process I've ever been a part of, but also the most rewarding. It was really fantastic. I can't wait until they find a publisher. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.